Hello, I'm Seema and thank you for returning for Numerical Problems on Boyle's Law. We are now doing part 6 of the chapter States of Matter. Let us move to the first problem. I've taken these three problems from the New York Prentice Hall chemistry textbook. The first question is that a balloon contains 30 liters, liters of helium gas at 103 kilopascals. That's the pressure. What is the volume of the helium when the balloon rises to an altitude where the pressure is only 25 kilopascals? You have to assume that temperature is constant. The volume is given to us, the initial pressure that is P1, V1 is given to us and we've been given P2 and you are required to find out the volume of the balloon when it rises, at, you know when as substances go up, it, higher up in the atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure is lower. So if the pressure is lower, the volume should be more. So we find that the pressure at ground level was 103 kilopascals, but the balloon rose, the helium balloon rose, and when it rose to such a height that the atmospheric pressure reduced to 25 kilopascals. So what would be the change in the balloon? Let us see. So we say, Temperature, assuming uh, temperature is constant, we are looking for P1, V1 to use Boyle's law and P2 and V2, right? P1, pressure 1 given to us is 103 kilopascals. The volume 1 given to us is 30.0 liters. The P2, pressure 2 is 25 kilopascals and V2 is what we are looking for. So using the equation P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2, we, you, we are looking for V2, so rearranging the equations, we get V2 would be equal to P1, V1 upon P2, right? So let's plug in the values. Uh, P1 is 103 kilopascals into V1 is 30.0 liters and P2 is 25.0 kilopascals and the kilopascal and kilopascal are cancelled. You get the, your answer in liters. If you plug in these values into the calculator, the answer you get would be 1.24 1.24 into 10 to the power 2 liters. Right? That is, you'll get 124 liters and you write your answer in scientific notation. So it will be 1.24 into 10 to the power 2 liters would be your volume, the final volume. So the volume of the balloon at a height where the pressure is 25 kilopascals would be 1.24 into 10 to the power 2 liters. Let us now move to the next problem. Nitrous oxide, N2O, is used as an anesthetic. The pressure on 2.50 liters of N2O changes from 105 kilopascals. So this is the volume V1 and this is P1. So the pressure on 2.50 liters of nitrous oxide changes from 105 kilopascals to 40.5 kilopascals. Again, the pressure is going down. So volume should increase. So if the temperature, and if you notice here also the volume, it was only 30 liters. And here it is 124 liters. So the volume has increased when the pressure decreased. That shows the inverse relationship between pressure and volume in Boyle's law. So if the temperature does not change, what will the new volume be? Again, we look for what are the four things we require? P1, V1, P2 and V2. So what is pressure 1? You have 2.50 liters of nitrous oxide at 105 kilopascal pressure and it is reducing to what pressure? It is reducing to 40.5 kilopascals of pressure and V2 is to be found out. It's the same. P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 and we're looking for V2. Therefore, we divide both sides by P2. So this gets cancelled. So you get V2 is equal to P1 V1 upon P2, which would be equal to, let's substitute the values now, it would be 105 kilopascals into 2.50 liter upon 40.5 kilopascals. 
the kilopascal, kilopascal get cancelled, the unit you should obtain in the answer should be in liters and when you solve this you get 6.48 liters would be your answer, would be V2. So the final volume, the new volume of nitrous oxide would be 6.48 liters. Let us now do one more problem and that would be the last problem that I'd be solving on Boyle's law. Okay. So now this is the last problem for this topic. The question is, a gas with a volume of 4 litres at a pressure of 2 or 5 kilopascals is allowed to expand to a volume of 12 litres. What is the pressure in the container if the temperature remains constant? A gas has a volume, that is V1 is given to us, P1 is given to us is allowed to expand that is V2 is given to us and P2 is required. So let us assign the values P1, V1 and since temperature is constant and there is a fixed quantity of the gas we are using Boyle's law. Always remember when do you use Boyle's law? You use Boyle's law when the temperature and the number of moles are constant and the relationship is between pressure and volume. Also, when you're solving the numerical, always remember to compare the units. The units of pressure should be the same, the units of volume should be the same. Okay, having said that, let us now look for P2 and V2. P1, uh, 4 litres is the volume, 4.00 litre is the volume. And the pressure is 205 kilopascals, right? And V2 given to us is 12 litres, 12.0 litres, and P2 is required of us. So we know P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2, and we are looking for V2. So if we are looking for V2, V2 would be equal to P1 V1 upon P2. Let's substitute the values now. 205 kilopascals into 4 litres upon 12.0 liters and the liters and the liters get cancelled so you should get the uh, volume uh oh we're looking for pressure i'm sorry we're looking for pressure p2 so let's change this p2 would be here and v2 would be here right so now when we solve this we should get our answer in kilopascals because pressure is in pascals so when you solve this, the answer that you get is 68.68.3 kilopascals would be your pressure. So P2 or we'd say the pressure in the container if the temperature remains constant. Uh, okay, the pressure in the container would be uh, 68.3 kilopascals. So these were some numerical problems on Boyle's law. I hope they helped you to understand the law better. In the next video, we are going to move on to Charles Law. And if you found the, these problems and these videos useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends, share it with your friends, and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.